Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. We got the Cal Poly Mustangs taking on the Eastern Washington Eagles in some Pac-10 play today. Cal Poly looking for their 10th win on the season. Eastern Washington looking to become bowl eligible late in the season. They're 5-5. Five and five. They need one more win. Let's take a look at their schedule. They beat Wofford to start things off. Lost to Western Carolina. Beat Southern Illinois. Beat Northern Colorado. Got uh, beat by San Diego. They beat Northern Arizona. Lost to Portland State. Southern Utah destroyed them. UC Davis beat them by a field goal. And they beat Sacramento State by one point. This is their final game. They need a win. But I don't think they're going to get it. I got Cal Poly winning this one. And going on to double digit victories on the season. So let's see what the guys think about that. I'll see you guys on the field here in a moment. I'm Brad Nessler, here with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Not a great forecast. Wind and rain for today's game between the Mustangs and the Eastern Washington Eagles. These two Pac-10 teams are fired up and ready to go in this late season. And here come the Eagles. The Eagles are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. The away team looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete. And Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. OK, you ready for my pick? I really believe that these guys are going to do it. <laughs> all right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Cal yeah, Poly favored to win today. And their offense is really the reason why in my eyes because of plays like this. Alexander Connor to Robinson breaking a tackle and he gets up to the 40-yard line. Connor, my favorite quarterback, I think, in college football right now. Raul Lozano the third, very underrated, but he does it all. 700 receiving yards, 1,200 rushing on the season. And here's Connor taking off inside the 10-yard line and down at the 5 as he gets... Close to 600 rushing yards for the year. Connor is actually sacked here back at the 10-yard line. Workman, the right end on the sack. That'll bring up third down and goal from the 10-yard line. Connor to throw it. Connor over the middle, and he connects with Johnson for the touchdown. And Lance Johnson is down with an injured hand on the play, and that's big if it's serious. He is, oh my goodness, a broken wrist for Lance Johnson. He is done. He will not be back in the bowl game. That is huge. He has been an integral part of this offense for the Mustangs, regardless of being a non-subscriber player or not. Eastern Washington goes three and out. Cal Poly gets the ball back. And Connor, and he somehow escapes the pocket as he was pressured, and he'll pick up the first down. Counter play, Lozano, left side, and gets the first down. Just keep feeding the beast. Lozano is a monster. Here is Malik Higgins picking up a first down inside the 40-yard line. It's his 40th catch on the season. Connor rolling out left side. He's picked off by Ricks. And Ricks has the speed. And he has the score. Pick six for the Eastern Washington Eagles. My goodness. That'll tie things up at 7 off. And Connor's going to be crushed here back at his own 7-yard line. What a hit on the quarterback. Picked up. Body slam, second down and 16. Connor pressured, and he's going to be sacked again this time back inside his own five yard line. That'll make it third and 21. Connor from the shotgun. Scrambling out left side. He's going to take off, try to get the first down. Jukes makes the man miss, spins, and is hit forward towards the marker, but they don't give it to him. That'll bring up fourth down and one. From their 23-yard line, they go for it, and Lozano's taken down at the marker, and they don't give it to him. Huge stop for the Eagles as they look to take a lead. Butler to throw it. Left side is caught by Warren. Lozano gets beat, and that is a touchdown, and the Eagles will take a lead over Cal Poly Mustangs. What a turn of events. Second quarter now, play action. Connor. Taking his time, he finds Larson at midfield for the first down pickup. Connor's only incomplete pass today is an interception. He is five of six. Connor, deep shot down the field. The Desmond Lewis is picked off again. It's Ricks, his second of the game. Two incomplete passes today for Alexander Connor, and they're both interceptions. That gives him 23 picks on the year. Definitely a risk taker. 
A little bit inaccurate at times. Here's a huge hit for Greg Ford. Nice tackle for a loss for him. That is his 12th on the season. Thompson breaks loose past the 20-yard line. Still going. He might take it all the way. Lozano is giving chase and tracks him down inside Mustang territory. Huge pickup for Thompson as the Eagles look to take control of this ball game. First and 10, Butler to throw. He's going to be hit as he throws it. Connects with Warren again. Warren's going to have himself his second touchdown reception of the day. And just like that, Eastern Washington up two scores. They do miss the extra point, though, so it's 20 to 7. Lozano, big run off the right side, up the sideline, and pushed out of bounds. Still going, actually, up to the 47-yard line. Great effort once he made contact. Lozano again, right side. He'll have another first down, still going. Pushed out of bounds again inside the 40-yard line. Second down and five, Connor to throw it. Right side, he's got Robinson trying to fill in for the injured Lance Johnson. He'll have the first down at the 25-yard line. Connor again gonna throw it. Pressured, takes off, avoids a sack, gets it inside the 10-yard line, runs over the cornerback with authority. Down and go from the 10-yard line. Lozano runs over the linebacker, and he's going to find the end zone. And that is Lozano's 16th touchdown run of the year. 23rd total touchdown for that young man. Definitely a huge part of this offense. Third and one for the Eagles. Thompson breaks the tackle, breaks another one. Still going, has the first down. Big run. And that gets them close to midfield. And here's Thompson again, breaking tackles left and right. Gets it up to the 33-yard line. And Butler will try to throw it now. Hit as he throws. He's picked off by Hartman. Hartman breaks the tackle. He fumbles the football. And it's recovered by Eastern Washington. Crazy turn of events. And to make it worse, there's a holding call. But who is it even on? I don't know anymore. So much confusion right there. But later on in the drive, fourth and nine. Butler left side. He's got Dunn. And Dunn is in the end zone for the touchdown. 32-yard touchdown pass on fourth and nine. Huge disappointing letdown for the Mustangs, but look at this extra point. Oh my goodness. That is the farthest right kick I've seen since Mike Vanderjat for the Indianapolis Colts. Mustangs back on offense, less than two minutes to go here. Johnson, the other Johnson, breaking tackles, gets it up to midfield. That's 49 yard line. Connor, quick pass right side, Lozano's got it, and the first down, that is Lozano's uh, 35th reception on the season. Connor sacked again. Offensive line getting bullied right now by the less lesser talented defensive line of Eastern Washington. Here's a lob pass to Higgins inside the 10-yard line. What a throw. Great touch pass from Alexander Connor. 44 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Malik Higgins in the end zone. Touchdown Mustangs. His ninth of the year. He actually still has more drops than touchdowns, but we'll let that slide. They do call a personal foul for roughing the passer. And Butler is going to be sacked here by a non-subscriber player. And that's going to bring us to the half. 26-21 Eagles with a shocking lead right now. As the Mustangs take over on offense to start things off. Lozano, huge pickup to the 47-yard line. 20-plus yard run again for him. And they'll keep feeding him. He's got the first down and more up to the 31-yard line. The outsides are just being completely destroyed, man. It's just crazy right now, and Connor is getting destroyed as well. Tuiasa Sopo, his third sack of the game. The right tackle for Cal Poly, really struggling. He does get a pancake on Tuiasa Sopo here as Lozano is dragged down just a yard shy of the first. That'll bring up fourth down and one. Huge stop for the Eagles. Mustangs are going to go for it anyway. Lozano in the backfield hit. And he falls forward, picks up the first down, gets over 1,300 rushing yards on the season now. And Connor to throw it. All day, taking his time, rolling way out left side, has a man wide open, it's Robinson at the one yard line. Eight consecutive completions for Connor. And here's a touchdown run for the big fullback. Connor has not thrown an incomplete pass since his last interception. He is a very streaky player. 28-26 is the score. Mustangs refuse to go for two points. And Dunn, right up the middle on the kickoff. Breaks loose in the open field. And Dunn is in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. 
He has a receiving touchdown earlier on, and this is a big one here. 87-yard kick return for a score. That'll give them the lead back, 32-28. They go for two. Thompson walks in and has it. 34-28. Mustangs down six. Plenty of game left still in the third quarter. And Connor rolls out, takes off. He's going to have the first down and more here diving to avoid a hit. Second and 14 after a loss of four on the screenplay. Connor rolls left again, and he finds Higgins, who breaks loose inside the 20-yard line, down to the 15. Huge play, 30-yard bomb. In the fourth quarter now. Connor pressured. He finds Desmond Lewis over the middle. That was a very risky pass. Ten consecutive completions now for Alexander Connor, though. And he's going to throw it again. Wide open is the fullback with his second touchdown of the game. And with an extra point, the Mustangs will take the lead. They do get it. And the Eagles go three and out. Here is Raul Lozano the third. Picks up seven yards. And that gets him to a buck 50 for this game. Second down and three. Lozano breaks loose left side. And he's going to walk right into the end zone. And actually get taken down in the end zone. But great blocking all the way downfield. I believe it was Malik Higgins throwing a block. Let's take a look. Great hole opened up by the offensive line and Malik Higgins sealed the safety for the score and the Mustangs are now on top by eight points 42-34 Butler pressured he's going to be sacked and that is big Greg Ford on the sack his fifth of the year Butler pressured again Lamache with the pressure and forces a bad throw from Butler and the Mustangs get the ball back 227 to go Connor deep shot left side connects with Desrin Lewis First and goal upcoming. Alexander Connor is absolutely on fire. Has not thrown an incomplete pass since that last pick. Third down and goal from the one. Lozano is going to get in there for the score. Again, his third rushing touchdown today. That'll give him 18 for the season to go along with his seven receiving touchdowns. So 25 touchdowns for the halfback. Four seconds left in the game. They're down 15. The Eagles are still fighting, and they get a touchdown here to Warren. That's his third. And the Eagles are going to go for two points here. And they need an onside kick where their player falls immediately if they get this here. And they do get the two-point conversion. So this onside kick they're going to attempt, they need to get it immediately and fall down to not run out that one second to have a shot at a Hail Mary. So let's see if they can do it. On for the onside kick. And that is not a good bounce. Lozano, the third, finishes the game off. Mustangs are victorious, 49-42 here against the Eastern Washington Eagles, who finished the season 5-6. and six. They are not bowl eligible, which is a shame because they did have some nice wins on the year. Huge victory for the Mustangs. Their 10th of the season, double digits. It's always great when you get there. And the team is pretty excited right now. Connor finished on a hot streak. And Cal Poly is the Pac-10 football champions. So, just a great team. I've really enjoyed playing with this team all season long and commentating on their games. Alexander Connor is probably the most fun quarterback that I can play with, um, along with Lamar Jackson. But I, I just like Connor's throwing motion a little bit more. They are a little different. It's hard to tell unless you're actually usering the player. But I just feel like he, he flings it just so fast. It's that flick of the wrist, he could throw it 70 yards downfield. Cal Poly able to pull away in the end, 21 points in the fourth quarter, their best quarter of the game. Connor, 17 of 21, 276 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. He now has 29 touchdowns, 24 interceptions, or 23 interceptions, excuse me. Lozano, three yards shy of 200 today. Oh my goodness. That'll give him 13.50 on the season with 18 touchdowns. He reminds me a lot of Marshall Falk. It's very similar play style. So he had two catches today, 16 yards. That'll give him 35 catches and 713 receiving yards on the season with seven touchdowns. Lance Johnson, huge loss for the Mustangs. Their slot receiver. So Robinson is going to have to fill in the gap. One drop today for Malik Higgins. That'll give him 11 on the season to go along with his nine touchdowns. 
Dan Williamson, 11 pancakes, zero sacks allowed. That's going to give him 117 pancakes with only one sack allowed all season long. Greg Ford led the team in tackles today. I think that's the first time this year. Six tackles, five for a loss, and two sacks. He now has 24 tackles, 16 for a loss, and six sacks with an interception, a pass deflection, and a forced fumble this season. Very nice stats for a defensive tackle. Lozano, a couple pass deflections today. And, of course, nothing really spectacular on special teams. Lewis did have a 60-yard kick return, but... Nothing crazy. Lozano, Connor, Higgins plays the game. Ricks, Warren, and Butler. This is the final regular season game for Cal Poly. Our next game, which will be out later on today, will be VMI hosting the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. I'll see you guys with that one soon. Take it easy.